Good evening, everyone, and thanks so much for joining us on your Friday. I'm Sophie Erber. And I'm Tim Seaman. Iowa lawmakers have reached the first final deadline of this year's session, leaving several bills behind, while others have moved one step closer to becoming law. Two bills tackle a priority for Governor Kim Reynolds, but differently than she had proposed. KCAU 9's Alyssa Tatch explains those proposed changes to Iowa's AEAs in our top story now at 6. Alyssa? Iowa's AEAs have been a popular topic of discussion since Governor Reynolds announced her plan to revamp the area education agencies, and the House and Senate have created their own versions of the plan. Getting the crew back together. Uh, the Iowa House has moved forward with their proposal that would give school districts direct control over funds that currently go to the AEAs, and the Senate has moved forward with their bill that gives school districts 90 percent of their state special education funds, as well as the ability to choose a different special education provider. AEA leaders see the bill as a step forward in what they hope is a collaborative effort. We see uh, components of what we've been asking for in the bills. We sure like to see a little bit more uh, in both of those but yes we we again appreciate that legislators have been listening and have uh, incorporated some of those proposed ideas into the newest versions of the bills while both bills have passed through their respective chambers area education agencies and government officials see more change moving forward we do see this as a continuation of the conversation. And we've had legislators say, this isn't the final version of the bill. We want to continue to hear from people. And so we're optimistic about what it could look like. 